welcome back to my channel. This is Playdates and Travels, and if you are new here, yes, this is a Jingle Bell. I'm really into Jingle Bell this year. I have this one, I have my Jingle Bell zipper. We are officially at December 20th, just five days away from Christmas. I can't believe how fast this Christmas season has gone. I have my new Santa Mickey elf next to me, by the way. I don't think you guys have seen this on my channel before because this was said to me by a subscriber. Thank you again to Susie. She is on Instagram at DisneyDealer78. She has a lot of posts on different deals that are going on that Disney is doing, different discounts, and she's great to know when Shop Disney is having a sale because she always posts it on her Instagram, so go check her out. At any rate, she sent me this, and I'm so thrilled that she was very, very sweet to send this to me, um, at complimentarily, actually. I asked her to pick it up for me, and she said it was a Christmas gift, and she's just the sweetest. So thank you again to Susie. I love my Christmas elf. And for those of you who haven't seen this yet, by the way, this is the strangest design because his head is the opening of this popcorn bucket. This is a Walt Disney World exclusive. And the only way to open this up, let me just show you, you literally have to lift his head and decapitate him. There you go, I'm out, of, I'm out of frame. But you literally have to pick up his hat off and he's a decapitated Mickey and that is how you eat your popcorn. At any rate, I find that super scary, but I love him. I think he's so cute and adorable. And I put him as part of my Christmas background this year because I'm about to film a Disney box. So that's why I have my little Disney wreath in my hands. This is not one that I made, although I am making one. And I maybe might show a video of that if time permits before Christmas season is over. Um, but this one I actually got from Tokyo last year and I love it. It's just fun and it jingles. Um, so today, is a very special day because it's a unboxing day and this was sent to me from a fellow Disney YouTuber. I've done quite a number of them this Christmas season, um, aka Vlogmas season. Um, if you guys haven't been watching Vlogmas, but just different videos people are doing during the days leading up to Christmas that happen to do with Christmas usually um, and or in our case Disney since it's the Disney Channel. Um, and this is no exception. I have a special Disney box that was sent to me this is part of the Secret Santa swap that was curated by Beth from the Collection Years Club. She asked me to participate in this one again, and of course I was thrilled and honored and said yes. She was the genius behind the big blue ball exchange. That was the last um, big exchange that she did with the 31 different YouTubers uh, during the month of October for Halloween. And for Christmas, she put this one together, and this one is a stocking stuffer exchange. Each of the participants were sent a sack, a Santa sack, where we were just told to fill it up with gifts. And when she originally came to us with the idea, uh, she was like, you can put small gifts inside. And then she realized that the sacks were a lot bigger than I think even she was anticipating. It's correct if I'm wrong, Beth, you see this video. Um, so they're, they were pretty big sacks and the small gifts went out the window and it was just basically whatever you could fit in there. So I know that some people probably went crazy per usual. This is the YouTube Disney community um, after all, uh, but I'm very excited to open my box. This arrived a couple weeks ago now. Um, we actually were supposed to do the swap earlier in the month and we rescheduled it because a number of us, including myself, hadn't received our boxes yet. And funnily enough, I think maybe all of us, except for one person maybe, all received it the day before we originally were set to upload. So we could have kept the original date, but oh well. This was better for my schedule because I had a lot going on and now we can just look forward to Christmas and this is officially gonna be uploaded the day after I open this. So this is fresh to me too. You guys are gonna be seeing my authentic reaction right before I film and give, this guys, give you guys a preview of this in the following day. So just to reiterate, this is part of a secret Santa swap. Look how cute this box is. Um, there's a bunch of different yamas on it. They're Christmas yamas with like little Christmas trees and little Christmas, ugly Christmas sweaters. And this is wrapped all over my box. I mean, it's just, it's on every side. I don't wanna show you the front because the front does have the custom slip. And I don't want to open the custom slip because that tells me for sure that my person is, I'm standing up awkwardly, but that tells me for sure that my person is from overseas. So I do have a slight hint of, as to who this could be because there's only a couple of Disney international YouTubers who are involved in this exchange that I know of. So I have a slight inkling of who this could be and when I open it up, that will be revealed to me. Hopefully she put a card in and I can just confirm if it is who I am anticipating. Uh, and I just can't wait to open this up for you. So 
If you are new to this exchange, we're all gonna be open, opening up a stocking to put on our mantle, um, a secret sack from the lovely, wonderful Miss Beth from the Collectionator Club. So let's go into this box and see what goodies were sent to me by my secret Santa. And if you like this type of content, please feel free to subscribe, hit that like button, and even hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos because I don't have a consistent schedule on this channel. I just post as frequently as I can since I do have small children running around. I work from home. So it's not always a set like Thursday I can post, Wednesday I can post, I just don't know. Um, but I do have a lot of videos and at least two videos every week. So definitely stay tuned for that. And with that lovely little interlude, let's get into the box. Okay, so now that I just got all comfy cozy, I changed my hat. I was wearing my Christmas ears from last year, but I love my little festive Santa Mickey hat with little ears. I just love wearing this so much. And I'm wearing my comfy cozy spirit jersey from last year as well. I was hoping to wear with a new one from this year from the Disney store, but it hasn't arrived yet, so that kind of sucks. I believe the box is arriving later on today, but I wanted to get this filmed, but I am in my comfy cozy outfit. I'm even wearing my little Mickey Mouse leggings, if you guys can see that. <laughs> So I am all decked out in my Mickey gear, ready to get into my package or parcel for my international YouTube friends. So let's go ahead and open this up. And to be told, I wasn't sure how to open this. I think I just butchered this box. I kind of just like ripped the, the top, if you guys can see in the very edge, so whoopsie. But it's still intact for the most part. And the very first thing I do see is a card that says Christina, and I also see a gorgeously wrapped Mickey and Minnie present. But I'm gonna go with the card first and then dive into the rest of this package. So, let's find out who our secret Santa is. It says, Merry Christmas with a beautiful Christmas tree. Yes, it is, Vicky, that's who I thought it was. Okay, so Happy Christmas, Christina, and I love that it says Happy Christmas, not Merry Christmas, because that's how they say it in England, um, and a Happy New Year. I hope that you have a wonderful time and that you enjoy opening up your Christmas parcel for me. From Vicky. Fixed in, lost in Disney. I cannot wait to open this. So I had a feeling it was Vicky because I did see the address and it looked a little bit familiar and I had sent something to Vicky in the past. So the address was familiar. I knew that it probably was either her or Karen, but my guess was Vicky um, because truth be told, I was part of the original group of people that Beth asked to be part of this exchange. And she did tell us that the original people that were part of it who were also part of the Blue Ball as well as the um, the uh, popcorn series that we did, uh, she told us that we would all be included in our own group and then the people that she had asked later would be in a separate group of who she would be doing the exchange with, I should say. So since I knew Vicky was part of the original group and is an international person, that's why I thought it was Vicky and my suspicions were confirmed. So ding, 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 ding. Anyway, all right, enough talking, let's get into the sack. But before I get into the sack, there's a box on the side. So let's see. I have this beautifully packaged, oh my gosh, this Mickey and Minnie paper is gorgeous. Minnie is holding a present, and Mickey is looking very dapper in their Christmas gear. Do you guys see this lovely box that Mickey sent me? I love the wrapping on here. This is gorgeous metallic paper, and I'm a sucker for Christmas paper. I almost don't want to open this. And then she had very neatly packaged her Santa sack right next to that. So I guess I'm going to start with this one and then go into the sack and show you the, from that point. But I do want to show you the sack real quick, though. Let me just, I'll go backwards. Everyone who got a sack from Beth, she took the time to personalize it with our names. And that was how we knew who it was being sent to. So this one says, my name, Christina. And I'm sure when this was mailed to Vicki, that's how she knew that it was going to be me that she was curating the package for. And mine had Beth's name on it, so I was confused originally and just thought they all said, return to Beth, that makes sense, until I realized, ding, 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 that means that my recipient who I was curating my box for was Beth. So Beth herself, who curated this entire exchange, that's who my person was, um, and my box had said Beth along it. So this lovely sack says, Reindeer Express, special delivery, please deliver and close gift to Christina, me. And then it says check twice, naughty or nice, and I am checked as nice on this list, which means I will not be getting coal in my stocking this year. And it says do not open before the 25th of December. Merry Christmas. So I love that Beth, once again, took the time to curate something special for each person participating in this exchange. 
she really does go above and beyond in her exchanges that she organizes with the Boo Bowl. Everyone got a special pin. With the pin to poppy exchange, we each got a chance to put in our own pins into this huge vessel that the person who won then got a zillion pins from every single one of us. So they got 20 pins total because there were 10 people participating. So she just comes up with really creative, clever ideas of ways to integrate the YouTube Disney community. And there's just not enough of that. So for that reason, Beth, my hat's off to you. I mean, you're just amazing at coming, coming up with these ideas and then allowing us to be part of it. So thank you again. All right, so enough said about that. I'm gonna go into my box. I'm talking so much. All right, so box first and then the package. Okay, so the one thing that I thought when I saw this box all neatly packaged is, isn't this the perfect size for a gym shore? And I might have put that on my, we had to fill out a questionnaire of things that we wanted. I don't remember exactly. But I do know that I don't own enough gym shores. There are so many people that are always like, oh, it's the red box and look at the gym shores. I previously only had been given one gym shore and that was in my last um, Disney box exchange. If you guys haven't seen that video, go watch it. It was uploaded on December 5th and that was my last big Disney box exchange that I did um, on this channel. And Vicky sent me a gym shore. There's a gym shore in here. Oh my goodness. Actually, I'm not sure if it's a gym shore. It is a Disney showcase item, but it says the world of Miss Mindy. So it's a vinyl in the Disney showcase series, but from a different designer, I think. Ooh, now I'm really intrigued. Who is this? The world of Miss Mindy, and this is from Inesco, the same um, company that does handle the gym shores. And I see on the back, <coughs> it says series one, Mickey, Minnie, Stitch, Tink, and Ariel. Those are all the people on there. I'm not going to look at the box yet because I don't want to know. But I'm assuming with this, that means that I was sent an Ariel one because she knows I'm a big Ariel fan. Moment of truth. You guys ready? <laughs> oh my gosh, I have never gotten one of these before. This is a vinyl Ariel. Oh my gosh, look at her eyes. Wow, and she's got a heart, a heart shape on her little tummy. This is so cool. Vicki, where'd you find this from? You guys can see, I have a World of Miss Mindy vinyl with Ariel on it. This is so cute. Look at the little heart, her heart-shaped belly button. And she's got her pink bodice as her bralette. Of course, she's got her lovely tail, and then her hair looks awesome in here. Let's see if I can go ahead and get this puppy out and get a better look. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I love that her hair has like streaks through it. This is a really, oh my gosh. There's a little starfish on the back. This is so cute. Okay, so there's a streaks in the front of her hair like I was talking about. You guys can see that. This is really cute. Her eyes are popping. You've got her beautiful little like belly button. And then what I love is that she's got like little poof sleeves. I mean, this is like a puffy, like Anne of Green Gables. Uh, <laughs> has been personified in Ariel here because all about the puff sleeve. You guys watched or watched the movie Anna Green Gables from back in the day or read the books. And she's holding a dingle hopper and on the back she's got a starfish in her hair. I mean look at this. The design features on this are really cute. So I did not have a World of Miss Mindy vinyl figure before and now I do. This is so cute. It doesn't just stand like this. Wow. It stands up upright. So you guys can't see. I can't wait to put her in my background. So thank you, Vicki. This is so, so cute. I love it. Okay, so I got an Inesco figure. That is, that is awesome. And now let's go into the rest of our Secret Santa sack. Oh, she put other presents wrapped in the same metallic paper. Oh, this is clever. Okay, so this is the very first thing that I'm seeing. There's a number of things in there. I'm just gonna go into this one and see what we got. I love all the wrapping, Vicki. Thank you. Thank you for giving me some pretty paper to work with. Ooh, pajama set and eye mask. So one cool thing about getting people from England is you get Primark goodies, which we don't have access to here. And I see Rafiki on the back. I'm a big Lion King fan. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And I am definitely gonna use this. Okay, wow. She got me a Lion King pajama set, and the best feature right now is the Rafiki eye mask because 
I am one of those people that I don't like the sunlight. I'm like Madam Mim, I hate the sunshine. I hate the sunshine in the morning because I'm not a morning person and when I have the sun streaming in my face, I'm like, no, I don't wanna get up. So when I go to people's places and they don't have um, blinds on their windows and the light's just filtering through, I need to have eye masks and I'm always like, I need another eye mask. Well, Vicki took care of that for me and she sent me this really cute Rafiki one. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Look at this. Look at that. And it's on a pink background as well. This is so girly and Rafiki's in like his yoga pose. Um, I was trying to see if it said it quote in the bottom, but it's just like a bunch of designs. But that is adorable. And I cannot wait to wear this. Oh my goodness. And then the better feature is this pajama top and pants. Wow. Okay. I need to change it to this and get all comfy cozy. This is so nice. What size is this? This will definitely fit me. Okay, she sent me a medium. And look how cute these pants are. I love the pink little bow in the front as well. I'm gonna get so cozy in this. And then I have a pajama shirt. Oh my gosh, crazy in love, Disney the Lion King. I love it. I mean, look how festive this is. Thank you, Vicki, for thinking of me. I cannot wait to wear this. I might even wear this shirt um, outside of going to sleep just because this is such a nice t-shirt and it has Lion King on it and I don't have that much Lion King merchandise. And I even love the box. The box is really cute too. Okay, so, so far I'm living my Christmas goodies. She got me a vinyl and my Christmas PJs. I mean, you don't even have to go any further into this bag. I love this. This is a lot more fun than a regular Christmas stocking. Okay, now I have a smaller item. This is more stocking size. So let's see what she sent me in here. Christmas did come early. It's a brush. It's a brush. Ah! <laughs> I love it. I washed up like this. It's an aerial brush. And look how gorgeous that design is of aerial. I mean, this is just stunning. I'm going to move my light because I feel like it's reflecting oddly there. But look how pretty this is. I washed up like this and it's got like little studded pearls all around this gorgeous design. And what's nice is that this brush is nice and soft. And truth be told, um, one of my friends who lives in the UK sent me an Ursula brush, which I do use, it's in my bathroom, uh, my, my aerial bathroom. Maybe I'll, I'll show you guys later. And I use it all the time, but the brush bristles on that one are kind of hard and my hair is thick. So it often gets stuck, but these are softer bristles. So this is much better for my hair. And I'm gonna just put this in my bathroom. I'm gonna have two, or I'm gonna have Ursula and Ariel side by side with my two little brushes. I love this. And this is again an item I think, yeah, this is from Primark. These are items that you only find sold in the UK. I don't know why we don't have these here, but I'm so excited. And thank you, Vicky, for sending this to me. I love my brush so much. And I just, I can't even believe there's more in my box. So I'm gonna keep going. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of smaller goodies in here. I'm gonna start with one of the smaller ones. So let's do this one. This is a nice little couch. <laughs> this looks like a face mask. There are two face masks. Oh my goodness. See the possibilities. Watermelon face mask and fabulous. Mwah. No more talking, singing, zip. That's the pose from here. This is the antioxidant mask. It's a seaweed extract sheet mask and it has Ursula on the front. And this one has Ariel. And this one's a watermelon extract known for its hydrating and glowing properties. So I have never used a face mask before, but I recently purchased one from Hot Topic and um, I was planning on using that one to see what it was like, but now I have two more. So this is amazing and I'm definitely gonna use these. I kind of don't want to use them because they're just really cutely packaged. They kind of want to put them in my, my aerial bathroom as well, like put everything on display, but I will try this out because these are really fun and I want to tell Vicky what I thought of them. So okay, let me give you guys a better look. This is what she sent me two different face masks, these are fun little items, and I love it, I love the goodies. Okay, let's keep going. I'm seeing a small little trinket box. Ooh, it sounds like a jingle bell for jewelry. Not sure what this is. Let's go ahead and see. Oh my gosh, it's like one of those, um, when you go into the plastic machines, you get a toy, that's the case that I'm seeing right now. Okay, I don't know what this is just yet. It looks like Ariel's inside though. Oh, I love how this is like an Ariel theme box. Thank you, Vicky. <laughs> she knows that I love Ariel. Oh my gosh. 
everyone watching this video is gonna be like, oh, she's like Ariel obsessed, which I really am not, but I kind of am. So I am okay with that. I'm totally okay with this. Okay, let's see. I can't open this though. Oh my goodness. Um, here we go. Oh, this is a pretty one. It's Ariel in her pink dress, and she's kind of doing a curtsy because she's bending over, and it's a little keychain. I'm gonna put this on my phone. Can I do that? Can I put this little tassel on my phone? Look at this. There's Ariel and she's like, thank you, bless you, bless your heart. I love that she's in the little curtsy pose and this is just really, really pretty. So another fun little item. Okay, I have three things left in here, I believe. Oh no, I have four, I lied. So there's one right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. This kind of feels like it is candy just by the shape of it. So let's go ahead and see. Um, it's not candy, it's better. It is better than candy. Oh my goodness, it's a Disney Villains perfume. Not today with Ursula on the front. I've never owned a Disney perfume. I've always wanted to, but they're like, usually $30 or something at Box Lunch. And I'm just like, I don't know. But now I don't have to buy it for myself because Vicky already spoiled me. Mmm. Oh, I like it. Let's go ahead. I smell like the ocean! <laughs> oh, this is a nice scent. Okay. So the next time I go to the aerial ride, I will have to spritz myself with some of my Ursula magic perfume, thanks to Vicky. I love how entirely girly my box has been with the face masks and the perfume because these are things that I never buy for myself. They're things that I see in the store sometimes and I'm like, oh, that seems like a good idea, but then I never want to like just, you know, splurge for those for me. I don't know. I'm just kind of weird about that. So the fact that I have these and the brush and the perfume, I mean, she's definitely pampering me. And then the PJ set is kind of like, I'm just going to just like get my PJs and get all cozy for a nice like girls day in and I'm loving this whole like theming of the box. You did a really good job of making this like an immaculately themed box Vicky. So I'm just really really grateful for this so far. Okay so I'm gonna go into my next item and it's one of the bigger items. Ooh maybe I should I guess I'll just open it it's fine. This I'm not sure. <laughs> well, let's go ahead. This looks like a heart shaped box actually like chocolates maybe that's my guess. Let's see let's see Oh, this is a tin. This is definitely some kind of tin. Oh, this is cute. It's like Mickey Mouse with a bunch of presents. And what is this? It is milk chocolate pralines with cocoa filling. Oh, look at the tin. This is a very nice tin. It says it expires in 2021. Can I open this? Or is it sealed? Um, I think it's sealed. I'm afraid to open this just yet. Um, okay, I'm gonna hold off on opening this just because my mom is a big chocolates fan and she will enjoy eating these with me, perhaps more than me because I only eat like a couple of chocolates and then I'm kind of done. So I will wait to open this and then my mom and I can enjoy it come Christmas day. And that will be my way of preserving it because I don't want it to go bad. I know it's only a couple of days at this point, but still, just to be on the safe side. But this is such a cute tin, and thank you, Vicky. Okay, so I think I have two more items in here. So I'm going to open the, the last box and save this little jewelry pouch for last. It's like a magic at your door pouch, so I feel like that should be last. It's kind of like a rite of passage. Let's go ahead and open my second to last box. This is like the best Santa stocking I've ever had, by the way. <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, this might be my favorite item besides the vinyl just because I'm a big ornament person. I have my tree behind me and this year I have definitely added to my tree throughout the year because I've been going through the outlet for the past year and every time they have a new Disney outlet um, ornament available from the Disney parks, I have pretty much purchased it as I loved it and I don't even know how many new ornaments I got this year but I got a lot and my tree is like overflowing. I had to take off a lot of the non-Disney ornaments at this point. I think there's only like five non-Disney ornaments on this tree this year, if that, something like that, because I just have so many Disney ones now. And now I have more. She sent me six ornaments and these are cute little baubles. I see Mickey's glove. I see a purple one. I see a pink one with a little Santa belt. 
Oh my goodness, this is just the cutest item, and again, it's from Primark. Um, I'm gonna open this up just because I'm gonna put this on my tree immediately, and there's just no stopping me from that. It's so funny, right now I smell the perfume on my arm, but then I also smell the Christmas tree, so I'm like getting two different smells at the exact same time. Um, we actually have a fake tree this year. It's the first time my husband has ever agreed with me to go fake because the real trees kind of get me, my eyes start to irritate. After a while, my mother and I both noticed that last year we both were getting really sensitive, so I talked my husband into getting a fake tree this year, except that we got the sensical ornament sticks that you put on the tree that have the Christmas tree smell. So it smells like a real tree, even though it's completely fake. So I get like the, both, the best of both worlds, because so far, knock on wood, <laughs> It seems like this tree smell is not affecting me, which is nice because it's a very subtle smell, but you still get the real smell without it being real. So my husband's really digging that this year. At any rate, all right. Okay, it took me a while to get this open, but I'm just gonna show you the different ornaments. So we've got a nice little purple bobble. There is one blue with a little bow. There is this glittery gold one with a pink bow. These are so cute. There is the glove, Mickey's glove, I love that. This is the one with the pink and the little like stripes across the front. And last but not least, my favorite color, purple with the Santa belt right there. I mean, look at that detail. This is just so gorgeous and I'm very excited to put these on my tree. So thank you for the ornaments, Mickey. This is definitely probably my favorite item just because I'm such an ornament person, I don't know. I love ornaments, and this is such a great box to begin with. And I have one more thing, I'm so sad to go to the last item, but let's get into it and see. This is such a well done box. It's always so sad to come to the end. Okay, this one is soft. I don't know what this is. Let's go ahead and see, is this a pin? I don't know. It could be bubble wrap. It could be a package. It's a plush. It's a plush and I am loving this. Wow. Pote Pote. I'm not really sure what that is. But I think this is from, J yep, this is from Japan. This has a Japanese Disney store icon on it. I don't even know these came out and I love it. She gave me an aerial plush. It's like a little like bobble and you can see her bralette there. Her fins are this little small like overhang over her bottom. And then her hair is nice and flowy in the back. And all of this is really soft. And then of course you have a, so a star in her hair. This is so cute. I love the little twinkles on her cheeks and okay. So yeah, it's really hard to pick, but I've gotten this beautiful, lovely little plush, my whole ornament set my brush, my two face masks with Ariel and Ursula, my tin of chocolates, my little Ariel keychain, my whole Lion King PJ set with Rafiki eye mask, and finally, my World of Mindy, there she is, my World of Mindy vinyl. So this was a great box. She definitely fit in a ton of goodies in here. Vicky, you spoiled me. You completely spoiled me. I love this entire package and I love doing this exchange. Thank you again for participating in this, Vicky. It's been so great to get to know you better this past year. And I'm so glad we're becoming better friends. I know that she went to the parks recently and I asked her to pick me up these hot cocoa boxes if she saw them. She wasn't able to find them. And that same day I reached out to her, I had gotten a notification that my Disney shop had just gotten them back in stock. So I ordered them so quickly. I, almost, I only ordered two. Now I wish I had ordered another one because if you watch my video of that, go watch that video. Um, it was like two days ago or two videos ago at this point anyway. I unboxed a bunch of different Christmas Disney pins and the hot cocoa boxes were one of them. And I got duplicate boxes. I couldn't believe my luck. I ordered two boxes. I was so excited and they were exact duplicates. So go watch that video and go see what I got. But at any rate, I just was really grateful to get to know Vicky this year. She's the sweetest person ever. If you haven't seen her channel, she is always so warm and inviting. She starts each individual video just talking with you like a friend. 
and she kind of just brings you in. Doesn't matter how much she says or what she says, you're just instantly just drawn to her. And I think Vicky's such a like a great personality on camera. I love watching your channel, Vicky, and I'm so gra grateful that you were my person um, and I got these, these beautiful gifts from you. So thank you again. Thank you guys all for watching this. Let me know what your favorite item was in the comments. Um, and if you are following along, make sure to watch the other videos that are part of this exchange. There are other people participating. Again, my person that I sent my box to was Beth, who organized this entire thing. So after you watch my video, definitely go check hers out. She's at the Collectionators Club. And there are other there, there are other people that are participating, so I'm gonna put their names on the screen as well. You can see everybody who's involved in this. It will also be in the description. And I hope that you guys stick around. I do a lot of Disney content, and this is just one example of the content to come. Um, between Disney and Harry Potter and my family life. So that's pretty much my content in a nutshell and I'm so grateful for all of my friends I made this year. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because you don't want to miss my future videos just like this. And I hope to talk to you guys soon in the very next one. Hope you're having a wonderful holiday time, getting ready for the big day, and talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye!